Right, let's do it. Okay. The next leg of our trip took us to Bolivia, which is slightly less tourist orientated than Peru. We started off in Copacabana. We ventured out to Lake Titicaca again on the Bolivian side where all the old people moved in slow motion. We're at the northern edge of the Isle of Desol, which is the island of the sun. Um, we're about 3,700 meters above sea level. Um, we are currently at a place called Chincana, which is uh, an, uh, an Incan palace. Where's Matt? Where's Matt? There he is. I think he said 15. We're going to buy some tickets for uh, walking this path. Here we go, the big summit. Oh, I'm tired already. No, not good. Go back. Go back. <laughs> and I feel that our trip needs more culture. Agriculture! Horticulture! Woo. <sighs> it's so bright! That was the longest journey ever. <laughs> and you'll see why now. <laughs> It all started off in the morning. This is funny, what we've done is we have booked a bus ticket to get from Coca Cabana to La Paz. And what these guys are saying is that there's a strike on and so they can't get a bus. So we need a different bus, which is cheaper, but we have to pay more for. And it's that's South America. America. I Googled there being a strike. There wasn't a strike. We were like, fine, we'll just pay. Hey, this guy. Uh, gracias, thank you. Our bags are on the roof. There are no seats left. Let's hope that the bags are on the roof by the time we arrive. But at least we were kind of on our way. It's a bit dead. It's even worse. We've just had to uh, get off the bus because we have reached a crossing point and the bus goes on some floating kindling. And then we had to get a separate boat, which cost more money, of course. Um, are you hearing things? So we had to... It's eight o'clock, it's eight o'clock. It was some church bells. Right, sorry. Um... So we had to get a little boat. It's giving out free ice creams. What a flirt. Stop it's flirting flirt. with me! <laughs> 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 oh, don't like it. It's like going a, out. This is like a nautical version of Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, our bus is there. So hopefully we get there in time. This is new car smell if your car was to have an exhaust that emptied into the main body of the car. <laughs> so everything was going okay, and then we got to... El Alto. On the outskirts of La Paz. Um, and the scene kind of looked a little bit uh, dodgy. It turns out that maybe those protests that we were really cynical about a few hours ago might actually <laughs> be happening. Our driver then decides to drive through the favelas of El Alto in a coach. We were rocking from side to side all the whole time, our bags on top held on by dental floss. We tried to go over a bridge that didn't have a wall at the side. <laughs> we had to open the side door to sort of look out. And Just be to like, see we weren't going to fall into the river. <laughs> okay. And then finally we ended up at a creepy bus terminal and got on a dodgy taxi and ended up at an Irish run. Hostel. That was the longest journey ever. <laughs> so we're now in La Paz, day two. Um, the protests that were outside La Paz in El Alto made their way to La Paz today. We're just sort of on the, on the outskirts of the main square, which we reckon is where the protests were this morning, but obviously we're not quite sure. 
One of the most exciting things about Bolivia is the death road, um, which you may remember from the Bolivian special of Top Gear. I'm now at five and a half thousand feet above sea level and still climbing. Oh God, crosses. Here's what happens when you go down on a bike. Well, from now on, uh, we're riding on the left side of the road for the entire ride instead of on the right. And the cliff side is always on the left side of the road. So I'm going to ask you to ride on the cliff side for the entire ride. <laughs> section over here, that's actually the, uh, the narrowest section here on Death Road and it's the uh, narrowest, it's 2.8 meters. If you've seen the Top Gear uh, Bolivia special, you remember the scene with Jeremy Clarkson look out of his window, it looks straight down. Supposedly that's been recorded here. But it's a lot easier on a bike. So to celebrate, we decided to do a zip line at the bottom. Yes, it looks like Matt's wearing an apron. It was my turn and I got a little bit stuck before the end. I had to turn around and pull myself the rest of the way. Not too fast Ian, you know, take your time. <laughs> I pulled myself so far and I was like, if I let go now I'm just sliding back to the middle. <laughs> yeah. like, what happened? I stopped right there, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. This is how you do it. Well, what was the difference, I wonder? Did they, did they like... Did Perfect, that's how you do it. Yeah, so, um, Ian was too... Too weak? <laughs> too fat, too... I think, Matt, I've just got so much muscle with the wind resistance ah, against the muscle. Because there's more wind resistance against muscle yeah. than lanky legs. So back in La Paz, we went for a bit of a wander. We've come to um, Uptown La Paz, which feels like it's got a lot more sort of like hustly and bustly. Obviously, I'm walking in the road, so I'm gonna like get killed by this uh, bus. And we're now gonna go down Pickpocket Alley. We travelled to the La Paz cable car. It was quite strange, the cable car ran through some of the most underdeveloped uh, parts of the city and yet it was very new, very shiny and very well maintained with lots, lots of staff. The contrast between sort of like lots of money and no money was very obvious. And in the cable car we got to fly over these massive graveyards where the coffins are just kind of like piled up in buildings. Then we left La Paz um, to do a three-day tour through the salt flats and through the desert and we were joined by Jess, Tim, Amy and Joe. Omar, our driver is just filling up with diesel um, so we've got enough uh, jerry cans to get us into the desert and this is our last stop of humanity. Okay, a lot of like little things happen in this adventure so let's experience it in the form of a montage. We've arrived at Cactus Island. Why is it called Cactus Island? This is a cactus. Oh, we have arrived at the Salt Hotel, which is made out of salt. This is our cell. Look at all the chickens. Oh, my goodness. 
person and We're at 4,800 meters high, and to prove how amazing we're dealing with the altitude, we are going to have a rest. Go! Well, good morning. It's uh, nearly six in the morning. It's really cold to the point where I can't actually feel anything. Welcome to Boiling Mud Park. <laughs> Your we're in a crater that represents Mars and we're about to do something really irresponsible. <laughs> yeah. Moving on, we're uh, at this beautiful lake um, where the, the hot spring comes out. So uh, we're gonna go for a dip. This behind me is the uh, green lake, Lake Verde. Um, but as you can see, it's not very green, apparently because um, it needs the wind to stir up the minerals. And so it's not green. Um, and then behind me here, they are the mountains that border Chile, which is where we go next. So that was Bolivia. Um, and as I said, next up, Chile. Ciao for now. Nice. It's the master! It's the master stepping time! It's the master stepping time! Never need a reason, never need a rhyme! The master in time! <laughs> <laughs>